Hey there, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I would love to show you how you can query the new Amazon S3 table buckets on AWS Lambda via DuckDB. So this video will show you how you can set up uh, and configure your DuckDB to query uh, your new Amazon S3 table buckets. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. All right, so uh, this is the GitHub repository and this is the diagram which uh, shows you what you're gonna be doing, okay? So yeah, come to the GitHub project and simply click on the copy uh, URL and uh, let's issue a git clone in the directory. Uh, if uh, you do a tree, you will see uh, these particular files, requirements.txt, handler.py and docker file. Just three files, man. Just keeping it very easy, right? Uh, now, if I open up, um, uh, requirements.txt we have boto3 duckdb numpy pandas uh, docker file uh, very simple straightforward we are using the uh, public.ecr.aws slash lambda slash python 3.12 doc docker image we copy the requirements we install the requirements.txt and then we basically say handler dot lambda handler handler is a python function right as you can see uh, this is uh, the very generic code. All it does, it takes a table bucket ARN over here, takes the namespace, the table, and your SQL query that you want to do, aggregate or count or whatever that is, right? So uh, as simple as that, right? So simple JSON config takes, uh, takes a table ARN, namespace, table, and an SQL query. It's literally that easy. And of course, this will query the Amazon S3 table buckets via DuckDB running on AWS Lambda function. Uh, now, to one, once you have done with that, um, right, now what we will do is we are going to build the Docker image. So I will say docker build uh, hyphen hyphen platform Linux slash arm minus T demo dot. Demo is the name of the image that I'm just giving uh, giving it. So I'm just going to run this. Uh, looks like we have an error and I think I know why because I, ha I have to go inside the directory. Let's try again. And uh, here you can see it's building the Docker image. While it's building, I'm gonna copy the next command, which is gonna run the particular container. So let me copy that and wait for this to complete. And once, of course, uh, the build process is complete, we're gonna run the, run the image locally, and then we'll fire the Lambda function, and we'll be able to query the particular data. So as you may see, uh, the build process is complete, and now I can uh, run it with a very simple command, docker run minus p, the port is gonna be this one, and we're gonna supply AWS access secret and the, the name of the image. I will do that, as you can see, the docker image is now running. Uh, now I can simply uh, fire the lambda function with a simple call command. Uh, and if you go to Amazon S3 uh, table buckets, I do have a sample table buckets, so I can show you. It's literally that easy, right? It takes a table bucket ARN, you specify your namespace, the table name and the SQL query. Here you can have your any complex aggregate as well, right? So now I'm just gonna copy the curl command and I'm gonna uh, run it on my machine. So let me copy. On the lower terminal is where I would paste it, right? So uh, I'm making a post request, right, to the container. And this is gonna be my table bucket ARN, my namespace table and any SQL query that you like, right? Hit enter and here you can see the Lambda function was invoked. And uh, it basically um, made a request using Boto3. It got the latest metadata file. It took your SQL query and then basically query that particular table. And then you got the JSON response back, right? So if you do it again, as you can see, works absolutely fine, right? So um, yeah, it, it works great. And I simply wanted to um, show you the solution. So in case if you wanna query your Amazon S3 table buckets, uh, you know, with Python, uh, this is a very uh, easy and uh, a most cost, effect, cost effective way to do so. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed and make sure to try these out. Uh, the entire source code is there on my GitHub. So uh, make sure to try that out. With that being said, if you have any other questions, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Until then, keep smiling, keep programming, and I'll see you in the upcoming next video. Goodbye, everybody.